The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. Okay, that was weird. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. That was weird, right? Nada knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong. That was, was weird. Sure he could figure out how to use it safely. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The it's nothing got was, was that nothing? That was weird. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. Maybe he could find a way to use it. To take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course. Renato had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. And he had a gut feeling that he needed to use that to his advantage. Uh, okay. Welcome back, everyone. Weirdness aside, uh, I'm Mixer Casual. Um, and, uh, welcome to Stories About the Destinies. Um, so, uh, what do we want to do? There were options this way. Renato finally realized that Lapino was um, a traitor to the cause. And maybe Renato could use that somehow. Let's, let's use that somehow. Um... Renato because put his paw on when there were definitely some was working alternate the paths that we could go there. He exactly seen um, sending coded messages to the palace, but he was sure. The rabbit had been on too many disastrous missions where he was the only survivor or where he accidentally missed getting on the boat that went down to the abyss in flames. If what Renato a fucking the jerk, man. Back to the fleet with all the intelligence he'd probably what gathered, a total butt. worth the trip. Um, but yeah, so, I'm gonna be real with y'all, um, I'm at a point with this game where while I do still love it, uh, like I was talking about last time, um, I kind of more just want to start showing y'all, like, another game, other games that I love, um, how had they come to this? So, uh, this will be the last episode of this series. Um, at least for now. Maybe at another point, um, I'll go back to it. Um, uh, I might, if I find the time and ability, um, uh, if people are interested in it, uh, I might, uh, try to, um, basically just finish this game off, uh, and record it kind of separately, um, like in addition to the normal, to whatever the next Monday game is, uh, do finish, uh, this off, uh, I'm a little uncertain at this point. Um, again, if people want to see more of this game, please let me know. Uh, like, say in the comments, like, that you want to see more of this. Um, uh, but for now, uh, this will be the last episode of this. Um, and, um, yeah, so at the end of this, we'll go through the credits. Um, because I think that's fair. I think they... Better get Again, this is a very good game, and first, everyone involved in Empire, it all the is been cool. The rebellion, um, and they'd probably give him a medal. Mm, he'd have to be very careful about how he played Lapino. At the slightest hint of danger, the mad rabbit would take off like a... Rabbit. Um, but yeah, so... Stuff. Um, Because, yeah, at this point, I'm feeling... Just a little bit, I guess, for lack of a better phrase, kind of burnt out on this game. Um, Lapino would betray him. It's a the good and fun game, but I wanna, I wanna do I other stuff. Idea that the two ideas went together somehow, and then it was gone again. Damn ideas! They never stuck around when you needed them. Um. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how. 
disastrously we can fuck this up. Bloody and exhausted. And go for maybe one of the, the rabbit was worse endings. Deck. As just a nice now a nice he cap to things. Was, there are a few things about him that Renato didn't find so amusing anymore. You Man. sent me an urgent message saying that you're in danger. Why did that oh, picture am. take so the long to load? Now, I got a clever plan to get Is that deliberate or is my Renato game fucking up? Shackles on the rabbit and shout, "You're a traitor and I'm not falling for it." But if there was one thing Renato was sure of, <sighs> it was that the core of the Sky River was dangerous mostly to its user. If he could put it in the Emperor's hands, old Lysengrim the Third might blow himself and his fleet up with it. Yes. That was it. Um, no, I'm gonna um, fuck that guy. Me? A traitor? I'm hurt. Fuck Lapino. you, Lapino. Why ever would you say that? We found your code book, said Renato. They hadn't, but he hoped Lapino would blow his cover. You got me, said Lapino. And you know what? I don't regret a thing. It's always about you, isn't it? You're the pretty hero. You get the girl. You get the medal. And what do I get? Rabbit food. That is I pretty fair. Like rabbit food. But also, what the hell? said Lapino. Like... And he made a gesture, and twenty ravens came out of nowhere and stabbed Renato to death. Oh well, that's that's he tried shitty. To be bold and paid the price for it. That's unfortunate. Um, is every one of those options for that path gonna like every side option gonna end that way? If so, that's unfortunate. Um, uh, is this gonna make me replay that level? It is, isn't it? I bet it is. How had they come to this? It is. They um, okay. So many adventures together. So... Lepina would talk to Renato out of prison at least four times. So and here's I how this is gonna go, then. Uh, for this... This closing episode. Um, I'll skip through... Uh... The replaying of this level. So y'all won't have to see that shit again. Uh, and we'll just keep picking the bad options there and see how all of them go. Um, because I bet it's just going to be a bunch of spectacular deaths. Or, if not, it'll be some interesting stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, see you in a few minutes, uh, when, uh, when we've, when I've gotten to that choice thing again uh and we'll do the next level and pick the bad decision for that one uh so yeah uh okay welcome back uh so i guess we gotta have him get the core and smart he told the rabbit all about the sky like, ripper's that's that's gotta be it's gotta be the thing when you attack zenobia he told the rabbit oh, wait i can do a better um, idea I'll get the core, and you attack Zenobia, said the rabbit. Right, yeah, that is better, agreed Renato. Uh -huh. Perfect. Okay. The traitor would make sure the Emperor got the core. Now Renato just needed the Emperor to use the core. If he could only get something that the Emperor wanted very badly. I mean, the Zenobia problem with this plan, though, is that, like, using the core the properly the does destroy the universe? So, like, it's not exactly great. Doesn't matter who destroys the universe. If the universe is destroyed, that's kind of bad for everyone. Um, but alright, so I think the next... I think the next thing was, uh... Fight his way through Zenobia's invading troops. Lapino versus into her bedroom and kidnap Zenobia her. getting and the, the uh, Iblis stone? Then he would rely on her love for him to convince her how evil her father was. So she'd run away with him instead of going back to her father, who was going to blow himself up. Hmm. It did sound a little risky. But Renato had a feeling it would work out somehow. It always did. I wonder if the, uh mid-level decision thing, the who to send for the Iblis Stone, 
is has actually an important thing or if that's just going to be another like oh you you, you die like having a pet well like having a goggler for a pet like are all the side choices for this um like all the side choices on the critical path like super lethal ones or is it just that one that's a super lethal one? I don't know. We'll find out. It'll be exciting. Here in our last moments together. On this series. For now. Give me a lever, said Archimedes, and I shall open the gate. Okay. Right so now, halfway to Zenobia's encampment. Hey there, Lupino, you big old dingus. They jumped us. You jerk butt. Got away. Oh. Yes. Got the core. Dinker. It was all going according to plan, thought Renato. Now he just needed Zenobia on his side. Mm, yes, that was even better. The Iblis Stone. Zenobia could get Man. it. And then the Emperor would have to pursue them. Wait, Maybe the stone's just no. a real, gem would real anyone, bad time. Even her. That's it, he thought. Even Lapino. Even I mean, Lapino was already a traitor. It would. But the thing is, knowing how this master, goes, the emperor, she gets it anyway. Himself emperor. So what if we just and skip that step? Would have to defend himself with the core. Boom. He was a super genius. What if... Like, let's... She gets it anyway. Bernardo set about getting himself captured by Zenobia to turn her against her father. Once she knew the truth about her father's plans for her, he sent her to fetch the Iblis Stone. Unfortunately, um. once she had it, the Iblis Stone took hold of her. In a rage, she decided to assassinate her father and become Empress. Renato pursued her to the final battle to stop her becoming evil. Zenobia slew the Emperor. Lapino shot Zenobia. Renato killed Lapino. Bittersweet victory was at hand, but then the core exploded, destroying both the Imperial and Rebel fleets. Death, Dark Ages, the usual thing. Well, okay then. Paid the price for it. Um... Well, all right. Uh, so I guess uh, once again, we'll flash forward to that decision uh, and we'll continue along that path. Um, and so I will once again right. see you now, in time. a minute. All right, welcome back, everyone. We're halfway to Zenobia's encampment when Lapino showed up. Okay. I was and distraught. They jumped us. I barely got away. Ah, oh, Lupino, oh, you big shitbag. Was all going according to dingus. Now he just you big jerk munch. But oh, yes, trumpet. That was even better. The Iblis Stone. Zenobia um, could get it. And then the Emperor would So apparently you Wait, can't skip no, these scenes. The gem would corrupt anyone. Even her. That's Which it, is kind of even Lapino. Even eh. Lapino was already a traitor. It would turn him against like this kind of stuff is why, master, at least emperor. for the time being, I'm kind of to make himself emperor. I'm kind of would have to defend himself again. Just kind of less excited core. about this game. Boom. He was a still a very good game, but oh, some Lapino for the stone. Terrible. Bernardo told the rabbit. If only I had gone for the Iblis Stone, but now it's lost in enemy territory. He handed Lupino a map. It gives the bearer. So uh, also, much I, d I do like how in these ones the fucking the never finds it. sky fuckers just floating there in the background. I, I think someone's following us. I didn't hear anything. Rabbit ears. You go on ahead. I'll check it out. And with that, Lupino hopped off with the map. Um, okay. So, that's going down. I'm yelling timber. You 
better move. You better dance. Um. Alright, all right, and now for the creepy scene, the super, super creepy scene. See, mm, it's super ship, fucking creepy. Like, no oh my god. Every time, dude. On her bed. Mm, he'd forgotten how beautiful she was. Every how time. Sweet, how soft. So he creepy. Tapped her on the shoulder with his sword. She was made of smoke, and he noticed he had a very solid blade to his throat. Did you yeah. really think you could capture me? Heard a familiar voice. I just wanted to chat, said Renato. Did you ever wonder why the Emperor adopted you? He needs a sacrifice. Someone who truly loves him to make a bargain with the lost gods. That's, Man, that's still that's real lie. fucked up. He wants to bring them back. No, that, that, that's crazy. Why would anyone? They could Boredom make mostly. An eater of souls. He read it in a book and once and thought it sounded real cool to do. She understood. Renato yeah. told her how he had rescued a priest who's uh, already been massacred. But all right. How he had slept um, in a burnt village. At midnight, the Emperor's victims had come to him in his dreams <sighs> to tell him of the hideous eldritch rituals they'd been sacrificed in. Man. I still see those kittens and puppies. What's up with those wide, eldritch rituals, huh? Eyes, Why they always gotta notice? be in... You can like prove that. sacrificing and stuff. The observatory. It's never like, oh yeah, the eldritch ritual where we just kind of dance for like an hour. It's some real good tunes. It's never the eldritch ritual of like puppy pets and cat naps. Nah, it's always like the eldritch murder ritual. That's the one I don't want to be part of. He couldn't tell that one sucks. Why he was really here. He didn't want her to be anywhere near the fleet when her father blew himself and Lupino up. So he told her about how the Emperor's obscene rituals had raised ancient artifacts out of the land. How he'd followed the appalling trail of the hideous horrors his majesty had perpetrated for the sake of his own immortality. Any of this what a about? He, said, he told me it was all lies. You've always known when I was lying. I mean, yeah, he Did would. You? Said Renato. I think he'd be like, yeah. Well, my daughter, of course I'm doing that. I'm planning on killing you at the end of it. He had slept in a burnt village. Dead kittens and puppies had come to tell him what the Emperor had done to them. Every time I'm on this level... I hear the sound of fucking thunder. And every time, I'm like, oh shit, is it raining? That's sweet. And no. It isn't. It's not real thunder. It's just in-game. And every time, I'm just a little bit disappointed. Because I like that good go rain. Storms are cool. Lightning's fun to watch. Thunder's cool to hear. Though it doesn't make for the best recording times. Because Thunder sounds notably worse. Don't you think I'd know through audacity? Um why? Would you join in? Uh, no. I destroy his books and and I Oh god. Okay. You're not completely I like Zenobia's like resurrected one of his victims. One collar thing? Exactly to the lie, one side? But it can talk. A true witness. I'm gesturing right now as if you can see, but like it's it's interesting. I don't know if that's just like a it's not supposed to be doing that and it's just unkempt. Like it it's supposed to be tucked in, but it's not, so it's kind of sticking out like that, but I actually think it looks pretty cool. Honestly, like, everyone in this game is really fucking fashionable. Zenobia most, like, more than anyone, obviously, but... Like, Renardo's got a pretty fucking good look going. Even Lupino, like... Has a pretty solid... Like, get up. I 
man. Like, I would totally be down for, like, any other outfits. Because it's just, like, good shit. Renato would make the cannonballs go much faster. And fire randomly, obviously. Man, I did not do a great job past that time, huh? Um, granted, wasn't super trying. Because the fact that I fucking heal, like, six, de six health per kill is, like... Man, I don't even fucking need to try, huh? I just fucking... Like... Between that and... Oh, well... Like, between that and the fucking... Skyfucker, like... I don't even... I don't even gotta try. I'm just like... A shiny golden god. But more like a shiny blue tinged god, I guess. Um. Okay. So that's not great looking. Like, it's still very pretty, but it's very clearly not a great thing being depicted. The ravens have taken special care to burn the reanimated witness to cinders. Zenobia stared at the carnage. Can you tell that they took special care? He witness, did he? I guess not. What's your plan? She asked. So what isn't my plan? His brilliant gambit, sending Lapino to get the Iblis Stone, become super powerful and corrupted, provoke the Emperor into using the core against him, thus blowing up both of them and hopefully the fleet too. Let me visit your council, she said, shaken. I want to help. Could he really trust her? All right, we're going we're going that way. As much as I absolutely do trust her, um. Like as much as I 100% trust her. She said she had an errand to run. Ah. Uh, so they met up sometime. That's the path we haven't gone. She seemed different. It seems she'd gone and knocked Lapino out with drowsy gas and taken the Iblis stone from him. Whoa, what? No. That wasn't a plan. I know. Your plan was terrible. And where's the council? Couldn't we just go somewhere? Quiet, hmm? Talk this over. You liar, <sighs> son of a bitch. They're not here. A sword was bloody. I told you the truth. Yeah. Well, mostly, I'm going to kill my father now. But first, I'm going to kill you. And that is exactly what she did. He tried well, to be bold and paid the price for it. Well, that's certainly something. Um, yeah, I would really like. I was really expecting these other paths to actually be like other paths i wasn't expecting these to like all just be dead end things uh so once again we'll skip this and pick up here um okay so take her to the secret base because the op the other option didn't go so great didn't go super didn't great. Urge to join in the rebellion. After all, he'd taken care of the emperor, right? Yeah, but she'd always been conscientious like that. She told him she had to go somewhere first. So Renato gave her the location of the secret base, and they agreed to meet in the ruins. He had a very good feeling about this. I mean, I guess, like, I guess in the end, this does work out with Zenobia, fucking going and stealing the Iblis Stone and stuff, because, like, because she does that, their love ends up breaking it or whatever. But also, like, she kills, like, the entire the Rebel Council, Council, you know? What was more important than meeting the Rebel Council? Had he made a mistake? Like, sending her to the ruins? a lot of potentially... I wouldn't necessarily necessarily say innocent, but like, because I mean, people in war, innocent is. Mm, um, but like, good people. 
Enough to tell her son to protect Mike. her. Enough to tell Renato to protect her son. He let her down there. Hmm. Like, the, the Rebel Council are like, good guys. Right? So like, them are good folks, I guess. I don't, I don't know their... I don't know, presume to know frog genders. Um... Uh, but like they're good they're good folks they're good frogs and they definitely get like super murdered which is like not great as he came around the bend there was Lapino. A fucking Lapino, man conscious on the side of the path and just Renata like kick him familiar, off sweet smoky scent what a fucking Zenobia jerk. It had to be. She never used a combat spell when she could use drowsy gas. That meant she had the Iblis stone. What would it do to her? She Nothing hated good. Her She'd kill him for sure. The council wouldn't mind if she killed the emperor, but murdering her father would destroy her. He had to get to whatever ledge she was on and talk her down from it. Yeah. Oh Jesus! What the hell, gang? Yeah, whatever game, whatever game I do after this will hopefully uh, have less uh, FPS hiccups. Uh, um, because that's not great when it happens. Um. All right. 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 And talk to a fucking statue. Everyone in the council chamber was dead. Zenobia stood shivering in the <sighs> drenched in blood. Why? Also, like he managed. They. They started arguing. Destroying. I lost my temper now. I wanted their blood. Not like me. Killing your father would destroy her. But Why killing all the Lupino? people won't. You had a that didn't. Plan. That didn't destroy her. I'm going to go kill my father now. Like. No. You can't. You will. Like, come on. You'll just take his place. You'll become worse than him. Get out of my way. Or I'll kill you too. Um, alright, so let's see how this goes very poorly. Renata watched her board her ship. And oh, that off. looks cool. A few days later, the sun dimmed. A great void opened in the sky. Black as the Iblis stone itself. Stretched Fuck, man, that's cool like a looking. Fatal womb. And a gaze black. And pitiless as the sun passed through the void into the land, I want and one. so the lost god Iblis once again came into his own, and time stopped. Well, that's not great. He tried um, something bold and paid the price for it. All right. Uh, so I think final time. Uh, we'll skip forward to that choice, and then we'll. We'll, uh, we'll play through the ending again and watch through the credits together. Uh, and I think that'll be the end of this. So uh, stay with me for one more skip. And the skip is done. All right. Stop it from using the stone. And I won't let you and let's do this. Enraged. Now it's just a fucking sword. victory lap. You hate him too. He could sense the Iblis stone, yearning for his death. I think that's the final thing. Strike. If you kill I think. him, he'll destroy you. I know you. Shut up! I. She shouted, her sword trembling. I won't lose you again. I get like Friendly. narratively that's like a thing or whatever, but like man, close. I can't lose you again. Like he was in reach of sword the Emperor, now. while yes, her father you. is still like. Too. I love you. A genocidal the monster. Time, and then she was weeping. And 
the sword had dropped. Like whether or not you believe that he glanced at the in the death sword. penalty or whatever, he like no longer the black of the void. Not getting into that, but like it looked like cold. The council toads No. Almost no. certainly didn't With deserve it, as far as we know. Crackling, burning, crumbling into And houses. she killed many of them. Of Haven't you? Many. She said, Many council toads she was weak. are dead. The stone had taken so much from her. Always, he said. And she staggered as he helped her up. And I feel like that away. would weigh way yeah. more heavily the on me. Avalon. The sisters will heal you. He will follow us. Then we need the Farfarer, the fastest ship in the Empire. Yeah. The speedy red ship, they call it. Because it's speedy, it's red, and it's a ship. Last I checked, anyway. Um, the Empire had seized his ship. Right. They'd have to take it back. We got this. We got this. Uh, you know what? Let's fucking fight through this shit one last time. For old time's sake. The portal was heavily guarded. It was to go someplace they really didn't want it to go. It really won't take long to do. Because there are definitely fewer enemies the at this point. No shape to fight. For some but reason. Fought so well. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. He wasn't fighting for money or loot or a cause. He was fighting for her. For them. Aww. His dance, his feet flew, and the ravens recoiled from his ferocity. He was doing murder. Lots of it. I get, I get, like, that's sweet cause and stuff, but also, like, sentient beings dying in mass. It's not exactly happy fun times, really. Um, oh, wait. Um, and there it was. His beautiful skycraft, the fire. Yeah. They would fare very far indeed. Beyond the ha -ha. Empire, Beyond the reach of the Empire. To the mystical island of Avalon. Yeah. He didn't know exactly I like how the wings clip it. into the boat he knew next he to could it. Find it. And they would find peace there. Second star on the right, and straight on till morning, laughed Zenobia. And they laughed together for the first time in a long time. Standing on a mountain of corpses. A corpse mountain of all the people that Renardo had just killed with a with a sword. Um But you know it's a, it's for a good cause or whatever. Yeah, remember when, like, I... Remember when I was, like, having trouble with these fights? The last time I was... Doing, like, the hero path thing? And then now it's, like... Fucking... Victory lap. Man, that's a lot of explosions and stuff, huh? Okay. Now the final showdown. Yeah, dude, this fight had like I mean, this was the fucking fight that I hit the fucking 
60 hit combo on. Like... This was that fight. And... Granted, there's still a lot of dudes, but... It doesn't seem to me like there's 60 hit combo dudes. Or maybe I'm just using the ice sword a lot more than I was. Um... Cause man, it's such a good sword. Oh. But they did not go unnoticed. <gasps> Scout ship oh no. lifted off, and a long lance of the Imperial flagship. Renato what a bunch of jerks! Gain speed. The Raven ships could pursue. Zoom, zoom, the motherfuckers! Control. The far speaker croaked. You return her and live. Go sacrifice yourself. Yelled Renato. Ha. Then you won't have her either. On the flagship, that's the really some arcane weapon. a jerk thing to do and say. It was the core, a devastating beam lanced out of the flagship. Renato zigzagged wildly to keep the farfare out of it. Now, I like how each time in, the distance, and the in each story, too. then came a blinding the core flash, and the was has like a different number of times you can use it. Thunderous before it explodes. Burnt oak and burnt feathers and burnt flesh. But when he could hear and see again, they were alive and unhurt. And they were alone in the sky. Zenobia yeah. Embraced him. But yeah, because... Like, through luck. Through the one time, won the war. Renardo used it once and it blew How up the universe. He then, he held her arms here, the, prow of the, boat, the Emperor used it once it or twice or maybe a couple times, maybe, before it just blew him up. Together, she said. And, so, and then, after a bit of an argument, the other time, Renardo used it one of the once and it was outlaws, fine, and then, the one shrouded in like, mists, again, and it the one in their hearts, blew up or whatever. Which one they went to, um, I'll never tell. Ah, uh, but okay. He'd so done it. he'd forged his own destiny. Well, he hadn't actually done done it, but he knew. So what here, he'd do. Uh, once and again, I we have finished the the main story. The kiss it. The kid's sacrifice. Got the got the game. hero's ending, even after even though we uh saved the world. <laughs> died a lot Renato more along so the way. Much. Renato lowered the mainsail. Um, let the farfarer shoot forward in the breeze. And yeah. Second start so, light, and straight on till morning. This time so yeah, um, he would win. Uh so yeah, so now we'll watch the credits. Um not skipping them this time, even though oh my god, why are they going at four frames a second? That's not great. Um, but whatever, we'll, we'll power through it because, I mean, this was, this was a very good game. Um, and these people deserve the credit. And even if you skip through it, like, like you personally, like, I, I feel like they, they deserve to have their names here on the channel. Um, but yeah, so, uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see all the other endings, um, and I will, if there's enough interest, I will absolutely go through and do more of those, uh, at some point. For now, I'm definitely gonna take a break on this game. Um, Julian Casey, you got a good voice, my dude. Um, but, um, but yeah, uh, definitely taking a break on this game, so tune in next week for something different. Um, I'm actually not entirely sure what right now. I'm torn between a couple different options, uh, all of which obviously being Mixers Picks Mondays are games that I love uh, and want to share with y'all, so we'll... Um, We'll see. Um, but yeah, this was Stories the Path of Destinies. Um, it's... Last I checked, at least when I got it, it was pretty fucking cheap on Steam. Uh, so if this was something that looked 
cool to you, or if you... Rather than, um... You know, waiting for me to do the other endings, if you want to run through them on your own, I highly recommend it. This... It's a fun game. It's a cute game, and... At the very least, like... Support these cool people. Because... They made a good fucking game. Uh, with a really cool and interesting concept. It definitely had, um... You know, some... Some, uh... Weird little glitches and stuff here and there, but... It was still... It's still real good. It's still real fun. Um... Uh, but yeah. And, um... Also, thanks to, uh... My lovely patrons... Uh, who are right here. Whoa, how'd they get in the credits of the game? That's so wild. Um, if you want to see yourself in future credits, um, check out my Patreon. Link in the description. Um, literally every bit really, really, really... Really, 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 really helps. Um, and I would be immensely grateful for it, even if you just throw me fucking 50 cents a month or whatever. Um, it really helps. And there are certain rewards for certain, for higher tiers. Um, and if you have a suggestion for other rewards, fucking let me know, please. I'm new to this whole thing. Um, but, uh, all right, so thanks for watching, everyone. Um, again, kind of sorry that I didn't actually go through all the endings, but I'm just feeling a little burnt out on this game right now. Um, and I want to show you something new. So tune in next time where I'll have exactly that. Um, a different game, something new, and and yeah, hopefully... Hopefully you liked this, and hopefully you like you'll like what's next. Uh, so thanks for watching. I'm Mixer Casual, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>